What's up, Pisces? This is Soul here and Pisces. We're going to look at some energy here for you starting May 15th and ending May 21st. First and foremost, I hope you are all doing okay. And to all the Pisces mothers out there, I wish you a very happy Mother's Day full of blessings and happiness. All right, so I'm using the cocaine tarot to deliver your messages, not reading any reversals here. Um, so uh, I did change my format around in terms of reading the messages for you and you'll find out in a few seconds here Pisces I think I'm just going to stick to that going into the future <clears throat> so let's get into the energies here for Pisces to see what is the potential energy that they have to look forward to Ooh. okay well that really it flipped over but it didn't <laughs> <laughs> it didn't land on the table, so I'm not going to use that, okay? I know I shouldn't do that, but it's just the way it is. I don't want to start off on a bad note with Pisces. I really don't. All right, three cups and then we'll begin. Pisces, here we go. All right, Seven of Pentacles. So some of you are going to be working hard and putting in the grind for that money. Options open up. Two of Swords, conflicted about something. Reduce it to one, the moon. You either go deeper. This is your own energy. So you either go deeper in terms of your feelings or expressions towards someone or someone's going to be doing that to you. Now, you have been the fourth sign that has received the tower. Okay, so we have the tower here, so it's uncontrollable energies. We'll get back to that. Two of Cups here is relationships. First invitations out, first dates. We have the uh, Knight of Wands, okay, intermediate attraction. The Hierophant, you're protected now with the uh, Hierophant being here, um, just like the moon. Uh, spiritual development, epiphanies, um, could be on-the-job training. We have the lovers that's also going to take down the tower's energy. Now, interestingly enough, the moon is over top of that lovers. I'll get to that. Ace of Wands, something new that you're about to initiate or begin. News is coming in. It's great news. It could be a touch of surprise. Then we have the emperor. So thank God, Pisces, you have all of these other major arcanas that's going to suppress the energy somewhat of that tower, okay? Tower, like I said before, is uncontrollable. We don't know how it's going to express itself. But in your shadow, we got the queen of wands. So not only do we have the intermediate attraction card, now you have the major attraction card. So you're drawing energy towards you eight of cups you're walking away not necessarily from drama but you're facing any dramatic situation see this uh character is facing the cups so you're going to be facing some sort of emotional stuff this week maybe or may not be linked to the towers energy it, it you know all depends on you and your situation uh, but you're not turning your back on that energy you're confronting it Will of Fortune is another major arcana that's going to take down the tower's energy. So this is um, how I'm doing a new presentation here. Laying all the cards out, talking about them briefly, but then after they're all laid out, Pisces, going over them one by one, linking cards to each other if necessary. Um, and so, yeah, it just keeps me from having to, uh, you know, throw clarifiers. I don't really get into clarifiers and maybe that's why my channel isn't doing as well <laughs> as others because I just don't have the you know I don't get into it I don't believe in it you know tarot is really direct for me you know you don't need extra cards to figure out that this is this and this is that and it just keeps going and never ends the will of fortune we're going to begin with because this is the fate and destiny card so you could be somewhere where you know you're fated to be and then something opens up for you now that could be a new job that could be a relationship something if you're the pisces that's the risk taker okay you like to gamble um casino runs lottery plays just play responsibly because this is big money Okay, um, whatever that was unfortunate for you, maybe in your recent past, now maybe uh, in your favor coming forward, this would be the stroke of luck. That's what the Will of uh, Fortune presents. As I mentioned before about the Eight of Cups, you're facing any emotional stuff. You're not hiding or turning your back away from it. It's almost like a driving force. You have to deal with something. You have to confront something. It's usually related to other people's energies and not necessarily you so this could be a week where you could feel 
like, you know, your family's pulling on you more than necessary. It could be your romantic partners or your friends, could be your co-workers. But if that is the case in any event, you're here. I wonder if this is supposed to be Lizzo. I don't really know these characters on this deck, but I wonder if this is Lizzo. Anyway, you're facing any emotional stuff this week and you're going to be um, handling it very well. Queen of Wands here is your attracting energy, is the card of sexual energy, sexual expression. Queen of Wands, King of Wands is always focused on something or someone. They usually go after what they're focused on. Uh, so yeah, all Queens and Kings represents a relationships for me. Swinging back up here to the Seven of Pentacles, so you're working hard for those coins, maybe saving up for something greater. Seven of Coins is also an options card, so options that may open up for you in any other area of your life. Now, since it uh, mirrors the Two of Cups, that could be romance for anyone. Um, two of Swords here, you could be interested in two people, two people interested in you. Uh, you have to... Uh, Decide upon two things and reduce it down to one. Uh, this is still my same sex loving energy here. Just minor anxiety. Make a decision, make a choice, and be done with it. Uh, you could be out and about and just, you know, traveling and then you're just, you know, rerouted because there's some sort of roadblock or construction. The moon is your own energy, so you know better, well better to pay attention to your intuition for sure this week, Pisces, because it's going to be there to help you uh, in terms of making decisions okay and making the right choices uh to keep you on your path so either you're going to be expressing yourself um on an emotional level to someone very close to you now this could be family this could be romantic partners and this could be also friends since this is an open general reading not just exclusive for romance um or they could be doing that to you Making sure that whatever's going on for us this week, in spite of the tower's presence, that we are constantly putting a check on our own emotional state of being because this moon has a tendency to send us up too high and also has a tendency to send us down too low. We don't want to be in either phase. We want to strike our uh, emotions in the middle, okay? Balance that energy out. Then there's the aspect of a cycle of energy that's phasing away from you. A new cycle of energy is opening up. Now, I don't know if this is coinciding with a new moon uh, this week, because I know we just had that lunar eclipse moon um, not too long ago. It was on a Friday, I think. I don't remember the date. So that might have something to do with it. Now we have the tower, devastation. We can experience um, all kinds of shocking news um, the tower's energy is also to something that may not be what, in, you know, impacts you on a personal level, but you may be the receptor of sh a shocking news. And also, too, uh, uh, as a reminder, since we do have all of these uh, court cards here, just to make sure that you are not engaging or involving yourself in any types of arguments with anyone, because it can turn out to be very explosive and ugly. So other than that, we're talking about earthquakes still, we're talking about bad weather, we're talking about multiple gun shootings, you may be, um, you know, reading about or experiencing some sort of high crime increase in your community. Um, so yeah, that's the tower. Shocking news. Two of Cups here is um, unity, already together. It could be first dates, first invitations out, um, spending quality time. Uh, yes, of course, with romantic partners, it could be a uh, family and it definitely could be friends, um, new partnerships being formed, two of cups. Then we have the knight of wands here. The knight is here to indicate that if there are any partnerships taking place, it's the rapidness of how fast the partnerships may take place. Otherwise, it could be a family member or a friend, could be a coworker who may assist Pisces this week in any uh, situation. Uh, they quickly come in, offer the help, and then they exit. All right, so that's the Knight of Wands, full of passion here. Then we have the um, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is um, you're spiritually watched over, you're spiritually protected. Okay, some of you may be uh, experiencing some sort of spiritual epiphanies this week. Hell, somebody could be even getting married. This is one of my marriage cards. Teaching and learning, on-the-job training, as I mentioned. Um, I could just be reading for Pisces who are uh, educators or, you know, Pisces who are 
uh, taking up classes, you know, could be online or in the physical campus. Great card to receive here. There should be no worries um, because of its presence here, okay? And then what follows that is the lovers. So you have the lovers. One, two, three, four, five. Six. You got six major arcanas. That's powerful energy here. Always pay attention to the major arcanas, Pisces. They carry a lot of weight. So the lovers is, again, greater than the two of cups energy here, but this could also be extended out to business partnerships. Still feeling like you have um, that peace and that harmony uh, and getting along well with others during this week. And, you know, I always tell you guys, since I lay these cards down in the... Um, matter of which I do, the energy can open up any way that it wants. So, you know, feeling good harmoniously with your partners, business partners, family members, friends, everything is fine. Everything is, and matter of fact, this was the uh, daily card for the day, <laughs> the lovers. So isn't that interesting? All right. So, um, that's the lovers and the Ace of Wands is the initiator starting something. Uh, great news is coming in very rapidly for you. Okay, so you may be, uh, again, starting a new hobby or, you know, some other creative pursuit. And then we finish off with the tower. Oh, I'm sorry, we finish off with the emperor. I just happened to look at the tower when I was pointing at the emperor. Damn. So the emperor is here. That means that no matter what's going on here for you, uh, Pisces, this week, you'll be in control. Okay, this is boss mode. So across mirrors over here to the seven of pentacles. So somebody may be promoted to a higher paying position that's a probability here it's always about um leadership being an authority and it's usually you know governing over others um but just you know being in control of your own actions and not necessarily trying to be controlling or manipulating um with other people the emperor underneath the two of cups could indicate that there's a Pisces here that's dealing with a fire sign. Now, that may be an Aries specifically, okay? Father figure on the other side may be connected to you, coming through. That's the emperor here. They may have worked in law enforcement or some form of the military. They're just acknowledging, okay? So, Pisces, I, I ran through all the cards and gave you all the energies that I feel has the potential of opening up. It's just me interpreting the cards. Take what resonates for you. Leave the rest alone. It seems like it's going to be a great week for you guys. Do not, I swear, do not focus solely on the tower. All right. We already explained you got five other major arcanas that's going to take down that tower's energy. So keeping our fingers crossed, hoping nothing happens. But you are the fourth sign that has received the tower for this week's readings. Anyway, enjoy uh, your week ahead. Uh, I always emphasize, you know, be safe with the tower, you know, when it's present. Give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And, um, you know, just keep smiling for me until the next time we talk. Take care. Bye.